Ooh. Good morning. Welcome to another video. I'm up in the Elliott Lake area of Ontario. I'm up on Flack Lake, this gorgeous lake behind me. It's about 11 a.m. Started driving from the city around 4 a.m. this morning. Long drive, finally made it. We seem to have timed this perfectly in terms of weather. 16 degrees right now, so we're starting to see some of the black flies poke their head out. And uh, we don't know if this trip is gonna be a disaster with the black flies or not, but you know, it is what it is. Should be out here for four days. Yeah, looking forward to a good trip. We're not sure yet what kind of route we're going to take. Right now we're just going to try to get over to a lake that's, that's known for good fishing, but it's going to be a long day. It's 11.47 right now, so the sun goes down around 8.30, 9 o'clock these days, so hopefully we can get there in good time. I'm with three other guys. We have two tandem canoes. First trip of the year. Looking forward to it. All right, let's get on the water. First portage of the season done. That took about 15 minutes. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to follow, but uh, pretty much all uphill. Some massive, massive hills to get up. So we uh, single carried over. We gotta get back in the canoes. You can see the bugs are just swarming around. Not biting yet, but uh, definitely swarming. Alright, it's 2.30. Just finished the 845 meter portage into Olympic Lake. The portage wasn't bad, not as hilly as the first, but huge boggy section in the middle and a lot of blowdown that made it difficult to get the, the canoes through. But it's all good. It's a beautiful day. Slight breeze keeping most of the bugs off, but uh, it's just beautiful out here. Okay, so it's 5.30. We finished the kilometer portage into uh, Astonish. Um, we're just looking around the lake. We're doing a little bit of fishing. The other guys that we're with are double carrying. So they're going back to get their gear, but it's getting late in the day. We're just gotta, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Um, that portage was a killer. A lot of paths going in different directions. A lot of, uh, a lot of boggy sections. 
I actually lost a shoe. I went down to my knee in muck, pulled my foot up and my shoe got stuck in. We tried to dig it out, couldn't find it. So uh, luckily one of the other guys lent me his shoe, so I, I'm, I'm you know, good for now. But yeah, just a, just a rough portage. Took about an hour to do one way. So they're going back to get their stuff. So expect them to be at least another half an hour to go back and get the canoe and come back. So yeah, so we're just fishing and checking out the campsites on this lake. Temperatures dropped, the winds picked up, and uh, the bugs seem to be going away. I'm contemplating whether or not to do the next portage. The next portage is about 600 meters, it goes into Esma Lake. Um, we haven't decided whether or not we're doing that. So. Yeah, but is there any more room for tent pads? Over there? Oh, over here, yeah. Let's see what else is up here. This is Thunderdome. It's a beauty. Yeah, there's another pad over here. <clears throat> Someone left a bunch of wood for us. And some birch bark. It's a good start. Quite a nice island site here on Astonish. Didn't realize how big the lake was when we were on the other side. The island uh, splits the lake and you can't tell that uh, how big it is, but what you're missing is this whole side here. There's a nice breeze. That's the direction we'll be going tomorrow if we stay here. Now it'll take us to Esma. We'll see what these guys say when they when they come back from their second their second walk on the portage. I'm sure they're gonna want to stay, but uh, we'll see what their opinion is. But I wouldn't mind. It's a nice sight. How you guys feeling? You want to keep going or stay here? We're not getting there until at least eight. Yeah. This is, this is, a, this is a pretty nice site. It's a pretty sweet site. It's well, well, yeah. time him. We, we plan on fishing tomorrow anyway. Delicious, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been quaggling for a few days now. Oh. I really 
Yeah. What a meal, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Big Mac sauce. Delicious. Why don't you make it better? You made it yourself? Provolone? Yeah, I made it myself. Mm-hmm. morning. Slept in today. Woke up at uh, 8.30. Uh, couldn't catch the sunrise. Sorry guys. I uh, was running on three hours of sleep last night and uh, really needed to sleep in and get that rest. Yesterday was a long, long day. Like I said, three, four hours of sleep, six hours of driving, and then uh, got on the water at noon. And we were at sight around 5.36, so long day. Beautiful day again. Not a cloud in the sky. A nice breeze coming through. Warm temperatures. Yeah, just about to start breakfast up. Uh, I think we're doing some oatmeal, nothing nothing spectacular. Short travel day over to Upper Mace, but um, it's just gorgeous out. Too sweet. Some coffee though. Eleven thirty. Absolutely gorgeous day, nice and sunny, a little bit of wind coming from behind us, not enough to keep the bugs off, but uh, just a beautiful day. Making our way to the 600 meter portage, which will be our biggest portage of the day. Have a pretty short day planned, we're hoping it'll be about a three hour day, but uh, we'll see how these portages are. Hundred meter portage down. So this portage is well used, well maintained. You can see there was boats uh, on the other end, so clearly this is used by the lodge. So yeah, we're in Esmond now. Make our way across, a couple more portages, and we're into Upper Mace. Yeah. 
Tosh on the right. You can see there's more of the lake down there. It looks like some people put some flags back there. I guess they're portaging around it. But uh, I think we need to portage around this. One thirty. That was the two sixty five portage into Upper Mace. So we're now on Upper Mace, which is our lake for the night. It's nice and early. Go look for a campsite and set up and do some fishing. You good? I'm good. <laughs> Covered in black flies. Dance. All right, two o'clock. We're on the island site in the middle of Upper Mace. Just gonna go check it out. Be decent. Nice flat, nice flat spot for a tent. Beautiful view. All right, let's uh, let's set up. So jerky, stop. <laughs> <laughs> No! No! You lost attention on him. That was a monster. <laughs>
coming, coming. Where are we? Ooh! Nice. Ooh. That guy is very. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby! Oh. Nice! Atta boy! Well done. Oh, yeah. It's a nice, beautiful. <laughs> Not the catch. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> we did it on purpose. Just do it for the exercise.